They did not understand that Jesus was talking to them about the Father. When you lift up the Son of Man, you will know that I am who I am. Then you will know that I do nothing on my own authority, but I say only what the Father has instructed me to say. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what pleases him. Many who heard Jesus say these things believed in him. If you obey my teaching, you are really my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. We are the descendants of Abraham, and we have never been anybody's slaves. What do you mean, then, by saying you will be free? I am telling you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave of sin. A slave does not belong to a family permanently, but a son belongs there forever. If the son sets you free, then you will be really free. I know you are Abraham's descendants, yet you are trying to kill me because you will not accept my teaching. I talk about what my father has shown me. But you do what your father has told you. My father is Abraham. Is Abraham. If you really were Abraham's children, you would do the same things that he did. All I have ever done is to tell you the truth I heard from God, yet you are trying to kill me. Abraham did nothing like this. You were doing what your father did. God himself is the only father we have, and we are his true children. If God really were your father, you would love me, because I came from God, and now I am here. I did not come on my own authority, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot bear to listen to my message. You are the children of your father, the devil, and you want to follow your father's desires. From the very beginning, he was a murderer and has never been on the side of truth because there is no truth in him. When he tells a lie, he is only doing what is natural to him because he is a liar and the father of all lies. But I tell the truth, and that is why you do not believe me. Which one of you can prove that I am guilty of sin? If I tell the truth, then why do you not believe me? He who comes from God listens to God's words. You, however, are not from God, and that is why you will not listen. Were we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon in you? I have no demon. I honor my father, but you dishonor me. I am not seeking honor for myself, but there is one who is seeking it and who judges in my favor. I am telling you the truth. Whoever obeys my teaching will never die. Now we know for sure that you have a demon. Abraham died and the prophets died. Yet you say that whoever obeys your teaching will never die. Our father Abraham died. You do not claim to be greater than Abraham, do you? And the prophets also died. Who do you think you are? If I were to honor myself, that honor would be worth nothing. The one who honors me is my father, the very one you say is your God. You have never known him, but I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a lie like you, but I do know him, and I obey his word. <laughs> Your father Abraham rejoiced that he was to see the time of my coming. He saw it and was glad. You are not even 50 years old, and you have seen Abraham. <laughs> I am telling you the truth. Before Abraham was born, I am. Then they picked up stones to throw at him.
but Jesus hid himself and left the temple. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been born blind. Teacher, whose sin caused him to be born blind? Was it his own or his parents' sin? His blindness has nothing to do with his sins or his parents' sins. He is blind so that God's power might be seen at work in him. As long as it is they, we must keep on doing the work of him who sent me. Night is coming. And no one can work. <laughs> While I am in the world, I am the light for the world. After he said this, Jesus spat on the ground and made some mud with the spittle. He rubbed the mud on the man's eyes. Go and wash your face in the pool of Siloam. This name means scent. So the man went, washed his face, and came back, seeing. His neighbors then, and the people who had seen him begging before this, asked, isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? He is the one. No, he isn't. He just looks like him. I am the man. How is it that you can now see? The man called Jesus made some mud, rubbed it on my eyes, and told me to go to Siloam and wash my face. So I went, and as soon as I washed, I could see. Where is he? I don't know. Then they took to the Pharisees, the man who had been blind. The day that Jesus made the mud and cured him of his blindness was a Sabbath. <laughs> 